so I'm back for another Table Talk Thursday, and I have my phone by me because I asked two artists that, um, they've done work for me in the past, uh, one of them being Keith, the other being very dark and windy, they both haven't had, had their artwork stolen. So I asked them simply if they wanted to give a statement, um, let me find very dark and windy's. This is really, really funny. Keith, actually, I was able to send the questions to, and he answered them. Oh, here's Dark and Wendy's. Very Dark and Wendy's, and I'll have it on screen. <laughs> His statement is, I wish people didn't feel so insecure and irrelevant to the point where they have to literally steal some something and claim it as their own. A freaking company stole, which that did happen, a freaking company stole my Lola Scrafty design and is now making money from it for F sake. And they the only thing I want to know is where's my money? That's really, really true. Dark and Windy did all of my designs for my fake mod. I always give them credit. And Keith, I actually typed out a question, which my question was, what what frustrates you the most over someone stealing your work and claiming it as their own? Or another artist, how do you deal with these people? Do you find it happens more in segments of the polka tubing community, or is it something across the board? And Keith's response, I'm gonna break down a little bit because I feel like if you have work from, done by an artist, first of all, you need to pay these people. It's not like magic. It's not pulled very quickly. These people work hard on it. I don't agree with people saying, oh, well, our GFX artists need to do stuff for free. No. I can't do it. I'm going to pay somebody else to do it. So Keith said, the worst thing about it is knowing that someone is po possibly profiting off your work. In my case, most of my work is stolen from me and badly edited, which is so true, um, are from commission. So people have paid to have them made, only to have them copy and pasted and edited by some guy who thinks it's okay, which it's not. It's never okay to steal somebody's artwork. I've seen this happen multiple times to Keith since I started following him, and it's annoying to me. I mean, I, I can't understand the depths of frustration he has because, oh my god, I would be so mad if somebody ripped off one of my videos or one of my video ideas. Like, that's my intellectual property. Even though I may lend somebody out, like, my image, like I've done that in the past where I've lent somebody out my icon, but that's still my icon. That actually was mine. Um, so it's completely frustrating and I understand that. Um, whenever I find these people, I confront them about it, but not privately since I've learned over the years that if it's done privately, they could just easily block me and that would be it. Very, very true. These people need to be called out publicly in my opinion and I fully agree. If you steal art, I feel you need to be publicly shamed because that's not fair. They worked hard on it. Um, if it is made public, if I make made it, it a public accusation, everyone sees it and helps out, whether by gently telling the thief to take it down or being aggressive, which is true. Keith can't control people, and recently he had somebody who um, paid him for a commission and then charged back and then claimed another artist did it, and Keith was like, hey, 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 this person is not involved in it, it's this guy who is, and I, I commend Keith for that. He's an amazing artist. Um, this makes a large, a consider, this makes a considerably larger impact to an art thief and lets them realize that taking art is never okay. Some people may disagree with calling out method, but it's, I find it rather effective. I fully agree. Recently, a commit, and he's talking about the thing I was talking about. Recently, a commissioner even attempted to charge back a week after I gave him the commission, so I called him out, and he immediately felt ashamed and canceled the chargeback, which, okay, that's so true. Like, people who do that are ridiculous. Like, I have friends in the polka tubing community who were going through Hurricane Irma, and they had somebody attack them, and this guy um, went on his alternate account and then apologized to them and then proceeded to continue to attack them, block them on all their... Twitter accounts, and then proceeded to attack their friends. Like, this is why public shaming works, because uh, sometimes people need to know. Art theft is a community-wide problem. I personally noticed that I have had more art 
thieves in the Spanish poker tubing community. Which I find interesting because if you follow Game Boy Luke, this happened to him too. It's not okay. It's not okay across the board. I don't care if it's an English PokeTuber that you're borrowing their image, you need to message them. Like, everything on my channel, either I have looked to see who originally created it and messaged them and asked them if it was okay, or I fully credit the artist. Um, the only one I could not get a hold of is the guy who I used the inspiration for Fake Mom World, the Deviant artist. I contacted him, I messaged him, and I didn't hear back, so that's why his Deviant art is linked in the description where I use it. Because it's not fair. It's really not fair to these guys because they work hard. Um, almost 70% of my art that are Hispanics, and what? And one time I found four of the five Spanish. I think he meant of. Oh, he found four of five of them within minutes of each of following each other. I'm actually dealing with another thief right now who basically recolored a commission I made for someone. Yes, they are Hispanic, and I believe that it has to be said that I do not think ill of the Spanish PokeTubing community. So there's no Keith is not angry, doesn't Keith isn't hating on the Spanish PokeTubing community. He's pointing out a major flaw in the community, um, which I fully agree with, and I'm trying my best not to generalize it as a community of art thieves. I have had a quite a few followers. From that community, they are quite ashamed of the Hispanic art thieves and call, uh, that that I call out. Um, I agree with Keith. I mean, honestly, I've seen so many people like have their art stolen, their GFX stolen. Like Game Boy Luke recently had that happen to him, where somebody stole his um, layouts that he made. Um, and it's ridiculous. Like, why would you steal somebody's artwork? This isn't fair to any YouTuber or any GFX artist or anybody in the community because all you're doing is hurting us. You're hurting people within your community. Why? Um, what, another great example is one of my friends, Professor K, he had his thumbnail stolen by somebody and re-uploaded and used it. When K called him out, he started attacking K. And this is a problem that we need to address as a community. Like, this is not fair. This is not right. Um, we need to come together and stop it. I mean, this is theft. It is a serious crime. And I don't think it's fair to anybody. Um, leave a comment below what you think. This is something I've really been thinking about recently, about doing and talking about because I've seen more and more of it happen as I've grown in the Pokemon community. And I think I want to kind of make a stand and say, no, this isn't good. This isn't right, people. Like, stop. <laughs> Please, stop. And I have to say, if you want GFX, if you want Fake Mod created, go to Really Dark and Windy. If you want an Abby like mine, go to Keith. It's worth the money. Yeah, it may be 15 to 35 bucks, but who cares? You can use it for multiple videos. Like, my Fake Mod World, I have it all over my Twitch stream. Like... Seriously, I use them everywhere, but my Abby, I use everywhere too. It's on my Discord, it's my Discord icon, it's like everything. So it's worth paying for it. Don't steal art. And that's all I have for Table Talk. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.